Uh, Alright, so I think we'll likely see Mario from Ooh. JCN, but you know, he's always been one of those people that plays a lot of characters. Trainer Trainer K, I would hope plays Pokemon Trainer, I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. So we have like a lot of San Diego in house, and by San Diego I also mean Tijuana. BTLC is a is a crew yeah. from over there. They're a team. Uh, I think who else is on that? Uh We Twerk or not we yeah, We Twerk Trainer? No, no not, not, uh, we Twerk not We Twerk Trainer, the other one. What's the Twerk Master. Twerk Master, yeah, that's what it is. Alright, so we're getting into game one here. Pokemon Stadium number two. Pretty even percent, but as I say that, Jason gets the down throw, immediate Pokemon switch from Trainer K, but the damage just keeps coming. He isn't gonna be able to switch out of that one until after the first up here, but Jason is so ready for it, keeping the pressure up, getting all these up here, putting him on the ledge. Yeah. Oh what a response! Oh my god! Trainer K is really showing out to, to right off the bat. Fully charged F smash, not quite gonna come through. Shield comes up just in time. I do like that he charged it though. Yeah. You know, wait, a lot of people would have spot dodged after sure. those jabs there. Jason was looking for it. I right, up here into the dare does not fire, but he's gonna keep the pressure up, looking for the cross up backer. But Trainer K just gonna eat his way through with the dash tags. A uh, great catch with the up smash too. Gonna get stuck on the platform, Ooh, yo! Out flying of away, looking like Rashido, and we're only like in pool still. Wow, barely a minute has transpired. Trainer K already demolishing two of Jason's stocks. Jason, I mean, a lot of you in the stream might even know Jason. He's a SoCal regular. He's a well-known player. He's definitely no Wait. slouch. Trainer K's Charizard though is kind of doing a lot of work. As I say that, he drops the stock by missing a photo, gets an up smash. But now Trainer K is back onto the Charizard okay. once again. Okay. This guy's a Charizard player. He, he had a, he, he had he a Charizard a, on his yeah, shirt. He yeah. had a Charizard on so his shirt. So he's a solo everything. Charizard. You can see right after he lost the <laughs> stock, he switched immediately to Ivysaur. Used it to apply some pressure with the Razor Leaf, but almost immediately went back to the Charizard. Off the top, no, the Charizard's weight is going to keep him alive. But Jason is just all over Trainer K right now. Yo, oh, I Jason. thought Jason got spiked. Yo, I'm telling you, dog. Jason is... Um, the man, dude. Double this down all it? the way back. And now they're basically at even percent already. This is going to be a great set, man. Just the energy going back and forth down in this first game is through the roof. Exactly. And the down throw, Jason DIs it in and eats it up. Oh. Air. Switch into what the fly, but he doesn't get the kill. 120% on Jason. Can he get off the ledge? Immediate grab. Forward throw keeps him off. Flamethrower gonna just make it difficult for him to grab. Forces him to at least go low. E a little bit more percent. Stays under the platform. Doesn't find the neutral air, but Jason keeping all this damage on, just going in with these aerials over and over. Alright, he's gonna jab it out. Jason still controlling the match right here. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a big punish. Charges the forward smash. Doesn't I actually the don't think yeah. that was the sweet spot of the forward yeah, smash. That's huge. Not. Yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah, and up smash just huge as soon as he sees the jump in from Jason. Asan just stays under him, yeah. gets the hitbox out. There it is, the Charizard on his shirt. This man is a Charizard player, and what a great way to finish it, right, with the Charizard. I wonder if he ever, like, it has to just end the game on, like, a, a different character. He probably just doesn't, right? I don't know. I mean, we did see him using the Squirtle and the Ivy a little bit, but he was definitely super comfortable with the Charizard when he had to switch to it. And it wasn't for long that he had to use him. It was almost like more of a, okay, well, they have to come out, so I might as well, like, play optimally and if I, I can use the water gun. See, he even charged it a little bit right off the bat. Okay. Now yeah, you just stay. Dude, what if he's just going to go all Squirtle now? <laughs> just to prove you wrong? Bro, yeah, he heard me. He's like, bro, I can play them all. All right, up here into the photo, trying to stay under Jason and nice little dash grab. Okay, there it is. Going to switch to the Ivysaur. Uh, down throw into the Razor Leaf, that's actually a super interesting mix-up, but Jason gets two frame by the giant hitbox that is Ivysaur's and down air. The mix-up ended up working out because he got to full stage control, put Jason in a situation where he had to make another recovery, and he was there to cover it perfectly wow, with the that down air. Just almost killed Squirtle. Uh, Jason does have an answer back. Look at how far up that up air goes. What a versatile tool that is for Mario. I love <laughs> Jason's confidence, though. Yeah. Like, even though he lost that stock, he is just playing so incredibly well. Speaking of confidence, that was an extremely confident up smash coming out from Jason. And we're down to two stocks apiece. 
right, I would have loved to have seen the grab conversion, but the F tilt works just as well. And Jason not dropping any steam here. Yeah, he's really not a player to gain his own head at all. You know, you see him at these early deficits, and then he just plays like he, it's his yeah. first stock starting the game off. All right. Bro, that's Excuse the thing. Me. That's the thing, man. If you play Mario, you should play like that because that is the truth, man. You could be down three stocks to one, and you will see exactly what we saw in the last game. Bring it all the way back. Great conversion off the nair. He gets the up air from the down throw. Yeah, Mario's definitely one of the best, like, momentum-heavy characters in this game. Hardcore. Look at the pressure he can apply, too. He gets a grab here, covering the roll. Oh, bad spot here for Drainer K. How did that game miss? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, he has a little bit of armor, doesn't he, with Charizard? Yeah, but, I mean, he, he would still get caved. He still it doesn't, get caved? Yeah, it doesn't, it's not affected by armor. I think it was just perfectly spaced. Yeah, no, it's just perfectly spaced. Yeah. Just barely missed. Like he's look at the way he's recovering. He makes sure to go low enough for where the up B like re grabs yeah. right at the right distance. Oh, uh, oh Jason, no! What are you yeah. doing? Yeah, he had that covered. Trainer K, one stock away from taking the set against Jason. Not if Jason has anything to say about it. He's covering. Oh, okay. The downer okay, down does it. Pops him off the top. Last stock, 0% on both sides. There's the grab. He manages to mash out, 0%, so uh, Trainer K not caught sleeping there. All right. Looks for the grab after the backer, but does not work. Trainer K is able to get a spot oh. dodge, but oh. that's so big. I really thought he was about to wait for the switch. Good, good switch Trainer though. K is swapped every time he got hit with the first up air. Yeah, not a bad option. I mean, it is frame one. There you go. He can use it to break out of a combo. You know, those up airs are pretty devastating. You hit one, it's yep. it's just a nightmare. I'm just so scared for Jason, or for Trainer K, rather, because if he, Jason catches on to that, hits him with one of those up yeah. airs and waits True. for the, sp the swap, it's going to be an early kill. But that was such a quick, like, uh, that he was off the ground. And look yeah. at how high he did a double jump up air so 